Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be finishing off our ability system and we're simply going to be doing it with these little image overlays that we have on the screen. Now these are simply going to be there to effectively give the player a little bit of feedback when they press those buttons and they activate their speed boost or they activate their gravity boost or they activate their health pack or their slow motion or whatever they're doing. Um, it's entirely up to you but anyway, what I'm be doing in today's video is pretty much showing you how you can get this little effect shown on the player's screen when they press that button just to liven things up for them. Now it's quite simple but before we do go ahead what I do need you to do is go over to the download link in the description and download the latest version of the project files inside of here inside of the side scroll of folder and inside of ability overlays we've got these three images that I've actually taken and made out of Photoshop already so they're pretty much just a little bit of text with some lens flares that look quite nice and we're pretty much just going to be putting this on the player's screen um, so without further ado let's just crack on and get into it so first things first you need to get those files once again like I said download link in the description and we need to import these into the engine so just go into your content browser and then using the file browser on your computer click them drag them and then just simply import them into your engine give it a couple of seconds and they will go in there they're already PNG files already so you don't need to play around with um, adding anything else into it, any transparency or anything like that I've done everything you need to do um, already and then from there what we've got to do is we've actually got to create three widget blueprints one for each one of these because they're going to be separate images and they're going to be coming up separately to each other and we're also going to be animating them separately as well to create those widget blueprints so let's start off with a slow motion one I'm simply going to right click go to user interface and then I'm going to create that widget blueprint like I said the first one I'm going to do is slow motion so I'm just going to call that slow underscore motion and then once I've done that just so apparently I've got one there already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this slow mo for now and then I'm just simply going to open that up so let's see if I can find that so that will have moved because of a name it's all alphabetically ordered um, so I'm going to find my slow motion I've got a big microphone in my face as well so I can't really see which doesn't help me that much so let's see if we can take a look at this so slow mo where are you it's not a good day for me today okay so We've got my slow-mo file here, I'm going to open that up and what we've got to do now is we've got to quickly put that image into our scene and we've got to center it so it's always in the center of the player's view. So give that a couple of seconds to load up. The first time you do create a widget blueprint, it can take a couple of moments. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly skip to when this is open and then we can get started. And Okay, so we're inside of here and the first thing we need to do is go ahead and add in an image. This image is pretty much going to contain this overlay effect that we've been creating inside of Photoshop so it's going to have the image all the appearance the size and all of that good stuff so once again my computer is just quickly going to do an auto save it's running terribly terribly slow at the moment so my apologies so what we're going to do over on the right hand side in the details panel go to brush image and then from there click the little drop down and what we've got to do is simply just type in slow motion or whatever our image is called and I believe it's this one here give it a couple of seconds to load up and then you can see a little preview here which is quite nice we've got to scale this and put it in this roughly in the center and slightly above on the player's screen and I think that looks like a decent size for me now before I do go any further what I'm going to do is I'm also going to anchor it to the player's viewport so it's always in the center and it doesn't go off to the left or the right depending on the size of the player's screen they're playing the game on so I'm just going to use the anchors over here and I'm going to anchor it to the center and then once I'm done that I'm going to compile it and then from there I'm going to go and do the same thing for the gravity boost and the speed boost as well so simply create a user interface widget blueprint and then I'm going to call this gravity underscore boost or gravity boost without it open that up chuck in an image and once again brush appearance I'm simply going to type in gravity and then gravity boost anchoring it to the center and then I'm just going to scale it up so it's roughly the same size as the text that I created earlier as well and I'm going to place it around the center and slightly above just like this and then the last one then that I need to do so I've done my slow motion I've done my gravity boost the last one is going to be speed boost so right click speed boost and then open that up and then we're just going to put the image in there 
anchor it to the center and then the brush itself is going to be the speed boost overlay and then we're just going to chuck it in there just like this so now for the hard bit the harder bit is actually going to be getting this displayed on the screen so let me show you how we're doing that now if you remember all of our controls and all of our inputs for our abilities are inside the side scroller character so we've got to go in there take a look at some of our code and then get it on place so give it a second a couple of seconds to load up once again and then we'll start sifting through all of the code that we've made already taking a look for those inputs for each one of these abilities that we've set up already so once again, it's just taking a little bit, slow, a little bit of a slow time. So we can skip to when we're in. Oh no, there we go. So we're inside of the blueprint for the character. So inside of the event graph, what we need to do now is figure out which piece of code is going to do what. So if you remember previously, we created these little input action events for each individual ability. So we've got one for speed boost, one for gravity boost, and we've got one for slow motion. Now with these little codes you can see we've got a little bit of conditioning and a little bit of code here and It's actually going to check to see whether or not we've got enough of the fuel and all of that good stuff So what I'm going to do is because I only want these to come up if they're using the ability and they have the fuel to use it Is I'm going to put this at the very end so that it's, so it only goes on the screen if it needs to be So let's just go ahead and do that so I'm going to start off with the one for slow motion that's one of the easier ones to do and what I'm going to do is simply right click and type in create widget and then from there for the widget class I'm simply going to type in slow mo once I've done that what I've got to do is I've actually got to get this between when it goes you know as soon as it activates the slow motion effect so I don't want to do it after a delay when it turns back so we're going to put it in here so i've actually got to move some of this stuff along now normally you just move it in between but for now this is just going to be fine so i'm just going to move this along just like this giving myself a little bit of space to work with and then i'm simply going to move this in here so as soon as it's done the action which for slow-mo was set the slime uh set the time global dilation and we've also got to add this to the viewport so we're going to add that to the viewport there we go and then from there, owning player, most of the time we don't really need to worry about that. If we press compile and it doesn't ask us, hopefully we don't need to touch it. Um, but we'll find out in a second. As soon as it finishes compiling, the computer has been really, really slow. So give it a second and I will skip the video. So we're back inside of here and hopefully now when I use my slow-mo ability, it should pop up on the screen. There's going to be an issue though. It's not going to be on the screen um, for just a couple of seconds, it's going to be on there indefinitely. However, when we actually animate this so it fades in and out, that's not going to be an issue. So as soon as it press, as soon as we press play, and as soon as we get into the game, we should see all of that coming to life. So just give it a couple of seconds. Okay, so we're inside of the game, and if we pick up some fuel now, so we can actually use our ability. And if we press free, you can see it says slow motion on the screen there, looking quite nice, looking quite good. However, after the effect wears off you can see it's still on our screen just like I said. So what are we going to do about that is simply we're going to animate that off the screen later on but let's try and get those effects on for the other two abilities now. So we've got one for slow-mo and I'm going to go into my code view and I'm going to copy this little node here for create widget and I'm going to start trying to paste this into my other script. So I've got to find the point where I need to put it in. So with our slow-mo that was pretty straightforward so let's try gravity boost. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to do it after the action, but not before it sets it back. So once again, I'm just going to put this in between. So as soon as it's changed the gravity here, I'm going to put this little widget in, making sure I change the class from slow-mo this time. It's going to be set to gravity boost uh, because, you know, that's the ability we're working with. Once again, simply add it to the viewport. And then from there, we can just hook it up just like that and that will get that working and the last one we need to do is the more complex one which is a little bit longer which is this one over here but once again we just need to find the action which was set max walk speed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff along and then we're just going to put that little create widget thing in there so once again I'm going to copy create widget and copy add to viewport press ctrl c ctrl v and then we're just going to link it in just like this so right in between and that should get things working then the class for this time is going to be speed boost because that's the one we're working with if we press compile 
and if we press play hopefully now we should be able to see all of them working so press one that's speed boost it's shown up on the screen that's great press two for gravity boost that's on the screen that's great and if i also press three if I get some more fuel, the slow motion one comes up as well, which is quite nice. However, as of right now, they don't disappear off the screen, but that's going to be something we're going to be doing in the next video, where we're going to be animating those to fade in and then getting them to fade off. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. <coughs> thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.